trace from refurbish in the middle um i thought i'm gonna try a product that's new to me and so i thought i'd just come on here and we could do it to, i could do a video and so you'd see too um it's the hemp oil furniture wax in the natural from wise owl when um I won the front door challenge. I'm gonna move the chair here too so you could see this a little better. Um, that's what you won was uh, money in products. So I was I was all excited about it because I don't know, you know, a lot. Some of you know, some of you don't. But when I first started in this business, I did milk painting. Um, now I do, you know, other mediums too, but. I love hemp oil. I always loved hemp oil, and um, I like the way it looks, and I like, you know, the feel that it leaves on the furniture, and um, I like how you can just brush it or rub it on, so I like it a lot. So I was excited to try this. This is their hemp oil furniture wax. I did stick my brush in it yesterday, but it smells like hemp oil. It really, it even looks like hemp oil, just in a solid. So. I'm really excited about this. Um, let's see, I guess I got myself in a bad spot here. Don't let the Hulk distract you. That's for a commission piece. Um, okay, can you see that pretty good there? Yeah, this chair, or maybe if I just go like this, I'll be smarter, there we go. Okay, this chair um, I got from a gentleman when Ashley and I were doing vintage market days and we were doing the Myrtle Beach show, we uh, had some people behind us that just had some beautiful stuff, but that was their main livelihood. They went from show to show to show to show. But when the show wrapped up and I went out by the trailer, he had like eight chairs and four or five little tables and stuff all stacked up over by my trailer and he said here I want you to have these I he thought I could do more with them than what he was gonna do they've been toting them around and stuff so I thought well geez that was really super nice I offered to pay for them but he said no so I finally am getting around to have time to think about them and do um, do something with them now this one here I have another chair that's finished so this one here had a rung missing, but I'm probably gonna just shine these up with the hemp oil and use them in staging or different stuff for now. Um, I thought about two, one time I saw, and I may have been on Pinterest, I saw where there was the chair back and they had made little wall shelves because I thought about maybe doing that with some of these because they're so beautiful. And they're so, they are truly old um, and the craftsmanship and stuff. And I don't know how much I'd want to sit in these, though, you know, because they are old, that old. So I thought that sort of, to me, was a really neat idea to save these um, older pieces instead of them getting shuffled around. So all I'm going to do, I did take a light. I have a sanding block, and I did go over it light. Because, like I said, it was really old and there was some stuff. And then I just have my uh, white lightning. My stuff in the back there. And that's all I do. I take the white lightning and the instructions say on there two heaping tablespoons will make a gallon. I usually grab a throw away plastic spoon and do about three quarters in my spray bottle because I just um you know I did, didn't have a gallon jug and stuff so I said well I'm sure this will work and it works fine for me so that's all I do and I just spray this stuff down and you know wipe it off there's really not much on this chair left other than just old dust and you know, I don't really know if there's a name for it, but what, you know what happens to the wood when it gets old because it starts drying out and stuff. So I think this hemp oil, too, will be a benefit for this chair. Um, and maybe, you know, it'll make it survive a little longer, too. So that's all I'm going to do is just wipe everything off. I 
Okay, we'll give that a second to dry. I've got the fan right there, so it'll go. Um, let me tell you about my brush, too. I'm going to use this palm brush. I love this little palm brush. And I've even used it painting um, fabric. So, and I'm probably going to do a video next and paint another chair because it's been a while since I've really painted a chair. But I love this little brush. It has such a good feel for me. Um, a couple years back, I got diagnosed with osteoarthritis. And, you know, you get old and you get stuff. So that's, but this has just been wonderful. And it, it just makes my job a lot easier. So um, I'm just going to take up the hemp oil. This is drying up pretty good. It's still a little damp, but I'll try to hit where it's not damp. Honestly, these chairs are so old, even if they were still damp, I think, don't think it would make a difference. And um, if I was gonna do something with this chair, I think I would place it, but like I said, I'm just gonna use it for staging. But we'll put the wax on here, and it's, it'll change, even change that. And I like this, because really, you could just get a set of chairs like these and just wax them and sell them. They would look really pretty sitting around, um, you know, and some people buy these things and they don't really use them. They use them more for staging in their home. So you could probably, you know, do that too. But look at, look at, can you see how that is? Let me pull you up here again so you can see this. Okay, and don't mind that headboard in the back. That's where what they talk about. All those girls that do all that blending, that's the ugly, the ugly first. Um, but okay, look at this. Check this out. I think this stuff is so great. This just, I like it. It makes it look so vintage. It's, I love it. I love hemp oil. Now you can do this too. Um, with the wax. You could get your wax. You could even do your colored wax and stuff. You just, it's just going to be a little different where wax tends to dry in to the furniture and mellow out. The hemp oil always sort of stays wet looking, but it's not. But that's just the way the hemp oil looks, you know, after it dries. And you can also use hemp oil on um your other furniture at home too so if you know you don't have to make a big and buy all kinds of stuff because this works great the hemp oil works great on all your other furniture i've used it on my chalk painted furniture and my milk painted furniture so it works really good and another thing i got too from the contest was the healing salve see that little bit i'm just gonna see if i can yeah, sand that off because it must have rubbed up against something when they were when they were moving. You know, because they loaded their stuff up and then they unloaded it for every show. Okay, that's better. Then look at that. We'll just go right over it with the wax. It's beautiful. This is I per, honestly I prefer a wax or a hemp oil or the um, hemp oil wax or hemp oil top to always putting a sealer. If I know my furniture is not gonna be subjected to any glasses, you know, drinks or anything, I don't put a top coat on. I like to use hemp oil or the wax. And you know, if someone accidentally sits something down on your wax pieces, you can always get your wax back out and you can wax it out. Um, so, I, I really like that. I think this chair turned out great. Look at look at the colors. Isn't that amazing? Here, let me pull this. There you go. Look at how it took that worn out. This reminds me of something that would be like in an old western or something. Check that out. Isn't that neat? Yeah, I definitely going to leave that on there for a while and enjoy that with some stuff. And I don't think you even noticed the one rung mix missing here. Um, you probably wouldn't have if I didn't have said anything, but but I did. So that's what I got today. I just thought I'd get on here and show you and talk about another way to seal your furniture. Uh, by all means, this works wonderful over your paints um, or just a quick way to freshen up something. Um, 
that you had sitting around or, you know. So that's what I got for y'all today. Um, until the next time, bye.